in this video i will share some very important points about resolving power of a telescope a telescope is an optical instrument that is used for observing magnified image of an object that is lying at infinite distance the ability of a telescope to show distinct images of two closely lying point objects is called resolving power of the telescope so this is the qualitative definition of resolving power quantitatively resolving power of a telescope is defined as reciprocal of its limit of resolution what is limit of resolution limit of resolution is nothing but minimum angle that must be subtended at the objective of telescope by two closely lying objects such that images shown by the telescope are seen just resolved let us try to understand this definition suppose we have this telescope having objective lens here and two objects o1 and o1 o2 are lying at infinity so parallel rays of light will come from o1 and parallel rays will come from o2 suppose the rays of light coming from o1 and o2 make an angle alpha between them now you go on decreasing the value of alpha at a particular value of alpha the images of objects o1 and o1 o2 will appear to just resolve that is that minimum value of alpha is called limit of resolution of telescope and reciprocal of this angle is called resolving power of telescope this is the quantitative definition of resolving power now let us try try to derive a formula for resolving power of telescope first of all suppose the parallel rays of light from object o1 that is lying at infinity because you know from infinity <coughs> it is the parallel rays of light which are incident on the telescope suppose the parallel rays of light are incident on objective of the telescope so kl represents the diameter of objective of telescope after diffraction from edges of objective these rays of light will meet at point p on the screen due to diffraction a central maximum will be formed at point p because the path difference between two rays of light which are superimposing is zero because <clears throat> before kl path is equal after this objective lens again path is equal kp is equal to lp so path difference between two superimposing light waves is equal to zero that is the condition for central maximum of diffraction pattern so it is very much clear at point p a central maximum will be formed due to rays of light coming from object o1 that is lying at infinity now let us come to object o2 that is slightly above this point o at infinity so again parallel rays of light will be incident on this objective lens which is acting as circular aperture at edges k and l diffraction of rays of light will take place again these rays of light will superimpose and give rise to diffraction pattern on the screen <coughs> now let us find path difference between these two rays of light for that purpose let us drop a perpendicular from k at point m by symmetry of the diagram it can be very easily understood that this angle will also be equal to alpha if this is angle alpha so after kl length of path is same before km length of path is same so path difference is ml so this small distance ml can be taken as path difference between two superimposing waves which are coming from second object o2 now let us try to calculate this path difference the path difference of 
rays of light coming from second object is equal to ml and this can be very easily proved to be equal to kl sin alpha and what is kl it is the size of objective lens of telescope let us suppose this diameter is b the b sin alpha is the path difference between two superimposing beams according to rayleigh criterion the image of two objects o1 and o2 will be seen just resolved when first order minimum of diffraction pattern due to light coming from o2 coincides with central maximum of diffraction pattern due to light from o1 let us try to understand this criterion if i plot graph intensity of light along y axis diffraction pattern graph suppose this is central maximum due to light coming from o1 and this criterion says that first order minimum of light coming from diffraction pattern due to light coming from o2 should coincide with central maximum first that is at point p central maximum of light from uh, o1 and first order minimum due to light coming from o2 should coincide with each other then two images will be seen just resolved this is the meaning of rayleigh criterion so accordingly the path difference of superimposing rays of light coming from o2 should satisfy the condition of first order minimum because the condition for first uh, or pth order minimum in diffraction pattern is path difference should be equal to p lambda where p is equal to 1 2 3 and so on if i put p equal to 1 i get delta equal to lambda so path difference should be equal to lambda that is b sin alpha should be equal to lambda but alpha is very small because two objects are by lying very close to each other so sin alpha can be replaced by alpha so i can write the condition as b alpha equal to lambda that is alpha is equal to lambda upon b this is the relation for limit of resolution for a telescope but practically this relation has to be modified as alpha is equal to 1.22 times lambda upon b so this is the formula for limit of resolution so we can write resolving power of telescope as reciprocal of limit of resolution 1.22 times lambda that's all thank you very much